Hello everyone and welcome to Farming Simulator 2022 with another Let's Play. It's been a week, it's September 1st and there is a huge change. So a quick recap on the last episode, I told you that I'm gonna show you the brand new farm that Uncle Rudolph told us that we have to look for. And of course we're gonna work with Uncle Rudolph. But um, no. This is not the farm. This is not the farm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This is the farm. Oh, 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 oh. Watch out, man. This is the farm. Um, okay. We do have some equipment, but this is huge. How huge? Let me show you. Look at this. So we have some stables, a huge open garage. I mean, open that's unlocked and I can use it. We do have some animal care equipment, a big silo. We have cows, a huge barn for cows. Just look at this. I have to take care of all of this. Uncle Rudolph is crazy and I'm scared. I'm completely scared. We do have a cultivator, roller, two seeders, garage, a truck, pretty much everything. We have some nice cool machines. Let me show you the harvester. Let me get rid of this flight mode. Bum -ba -da -da. A class with Deutz Far Header. Beautiful. With a small little class, sunflower slash corn header. We pretty much have everything. Yeah. And you know what? I have a plan. And that plan is I'm not gonna use this farm only for the let's plays. I think it's gonna be very, very cool to use this farm as a time lapse as well. So, what I'm gonna do is actually for the first time, I'm gonna mix things up. What that means is I'm gonna use this farm not just for the let's plays but with the time lapses as well. So this is the first episode of the time lapse and the first episode on this farm on the let's play. So without further ado, let's get cracking. Most of the surrounding fields are ready for harvest and I do believe that this is going to be the perfect opportunity just to um, get into this farm because Uncle Rudolph the last time we spoke he was just go down to the farm and I will explain you but do you see Uncle Rudolph? Because I don't see him. Um, I will take this on myself and I'm just going to start harvesting and uh, bailing of course because yeah, we don't have any straw. The animals are hungry. We do have cows. Um, I believe at the beginning of next year we should get some sheep as well. So I really want to be done by then. So let's get to the class. Let's check it out. And also I will be using the time while I'm harvesting to answer some of the, the questions that you guys shared in the different community posts I did. So this is the class Dominator. 108 very very cool machine and this is me hello turn the beacons on oh yeah how is the sound of this oh it's awesome it is beautiful i want to use this opportunity just to show you around the farm now bear in mind i don't think any of the equipment that you're about to see is brand new. I mean, look at this. It has 763 hours for an old harvester. I know that's not that much, but nevertheless, it's a lot. I do think that maybe Uncle Rudolph has mentioned that uh, every piece of equipment that he has is unfortunately second-handed. Um, I think he mentioned that maybe the pallet fork and the bell spike are brand new but i'm not sure so everything that you see is second hand but it's amazing i definitely am caught off guard that he let us 
run i mean he we are not running things we are helping but we are probably second or third in command wow well i don't want to lose any more time so uh, uh let's get to the field i skipped the whole journey to the farm because it's right up to the field because it's right across the farm uh which tractor should i get you know what let's let's grab the landini oh macy ferguson but landini edition with that nice blue what we're gonna need is to grab the header and a trailer and a baler so we're gonna do these three little tasks very fast and while i'm doing that let me answer some of the questions that you guys posted in i think quite a while now maybe i think i asked you the about five six days ago do we have uh beacons no but we have oh we do have beacons right yeah in the back of the trailer right now let's see the questions from piotr do i like pancakes yes i do actually i'm not much of a sweet guy i don't like that much sweet because uh as you guys know i used to be a professional athlete so when i was growing up people were telling me all the time that sweet is bad for me so i actually never kind of liked it like candy um, chips koa anything with a lot of sugar in it so pancakes yeah especially if they're homemade mm. Mm, yeah i like it uh the next question the next question is very strange one how much is the fish um not that much <laughs> not that much uh we do have one good one from dos command how are you so good at farming simulator i don't think i'm that good of a farming simulator one thing i am sure though is i just played the game the way i want it yeah i just played the game the way i want it sometimes i'm looking at uh i don't know real life videos let's turn off the beacons let's get a little bit of harvesting underway while i'm continue answering the questions oh let's unfold this nice oh my name attach there we go oh yeah uh let me continue how am i so good at farming simulator well one thing you have to make sure is i just play the game i just play the game and i don't care what will people say of my gameplay style i try to enjoy the game as much as possible this is how i do it in every single game when i play it i just play the way i want it if i want to drive across the field yeah i i will do it probably i'm not gonna show it on camera because i know a bunch of you just don't like it but just be yourself play the game the way you want it to uh, grab a huge loan build a nice crazy farm even if you have to take uh, pictures of it uh, from real life farms and copy it hey if that works go for it uh next question mm. from t25 team have am i a real life farmer that's the answer is no i've actually never been on a proper farm i have driven right next to one but actually never been on the farm i don't know how farm works the only experience i have is from of course farming simulator uh, that's why i keep making a big 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 mistakes when i play the game just because i don't have the experience uh, do i support a sports club from fabian another great question and if yes what kind of sports and which team when it comes to basketball i'm a huge lakers fan now i've been lakers fan since i was growing up with kobe magic johnson shaq kung fu shaq as for soccer or football in europe uh i don't have a favorite team but i do have favorite players and that player is messi so i like barca barcelona uh for uh messi now he moved to Paris Saint-Germain 
Guys, he, he plays in France now for the people who don't know. I still like the guy. I don't watch that much football, but I like the guy. So this is how I do it because I don't have that much time to play sports. The way I do it is I watch the finals. So Champion League, I watch the semifinals, I watch the finals. Um, NBA season, I watch the conference finals and then the big finals. The Brown James, of course. Uh, from Donut Boy. To how many countries have you been so far? So I've been to a few. America. Uh, the Netherlands. Serbia. Romania. All the neighboring countries. I haven't been in Macedonia or uh, Greece though. So that's a bummer. Um, for the people who do not know. Yes. I am from Bulgaria. A nice little country. Uh, it's next, next to Turkey. From FS Gaming YouTube, which application is used for editing? I'm using Adobe Premiere. Now I know for a lot of people that's gonna be very, very expensive. And there are some cheap alternatives. I know that some of them are actually free. So uh, do not spend the money if you're just using it as a hobby because the Adobe products are good, but they can be very expensive. I know Sony Vegas has a version on which it's free, so do check it out. Uh, from Ben Clark, which country do you live? From, I'm from Bulgaria. And from Asfan, is YouTube your full-time job? Yes, YouTube has been my full-time job, I believe, since um, December or November 2018. So it's gonna be around Three years now that YouTube is my full job. I used to work on three to four different places. That wasn't fun at all. But slowly with time, YouTube became my biggest priority and I started quitting my other jobs. Uh, <laughs> and that one gamer, can you tell us what kind of equipment your father used to operate if you know? So that comes from the first episode where I tried to be a little bit more of a role play so I told you guys that my father was used to be a farmer and such but of course in real life that is not true I just said it for the sake of the video and now I can say that I don't know <laughs> uh, I do not know now in real life I know that my father was doing a little bit of farming but it's mostly doing it by hand with a shovel with a spike um i think my grand grand grandfather a uh, grand grandfather had um i think one donkey and one horse so they used to move some uh, a little bit of straw a little bit of hay nothing professional guys just imagine an old person and his son in a village when my father was uh, a kid before he moved to the city just helping out his father uh oh wow and that's the most interesting uh, question so far so guys if you want to answer if you want me to answer more of your questions make sure to drop them in the comments below and that harvester is already full let me park this up and let me go grab the next tractor This time we are going with the Agrostar. I definitely want to use as many different equipment as possible because one thing it can be very hard as a content creator when a game is brand new. And that is that everybody is uh, pretty much using the same equipment. And in my case it's pretty much the same. I mean this is what like the third time I'm trying to start Baileron. For some reason, Baileron is not uh, working uh, very well for me. Maybe because there are a lot of people from America that watches me. Huge shout out to Americans, by the way. Thank you guys for the support. And of course, from everybody that's across the world. Thank you guys. But yeah, um, me trying to start on uh, 
Baileron? I don't know. When You know what? As a content creator, when you're recording, doing content before you put it out, you kind of get the feeling if the particular video is good or not. Especially like me, that you, you're doing it for quite a while. I can actually sense, okay, this is actually cool. This can work. Or maybe, you know what? Nah, I don't feel that. And Bayron is such map where, yeah, I'm having fun for first two episodes and then nothing. I don't have any ideas how to continue this map. But now with this brand new farm that I have, I do have quite a few ideas how to make this work. And especially that, as I told you guys, this is a let's play, but as well, the progress is gonna continue further with the time lapses and i've never done this before especially as a let's play you know guys that um i tried to do let's plays quite long time ago and it didn't work out that great so now i'm kind of restarting and i'm so hyped i uh, yeah you can hear it by the sound of my voice i'm very hyped to see if this let's play series actually will pull it off I really hope it does because right now I'm having a tons of fun. Right. Next thing. I will try to hire a helper over here because I really want to start bailing. Let me see where exactly is gonna... The driver will decide to continue. Is he gonna do the proper way? Let's see. Um... He's kind of doing it a bit strangely. Let me see. Oh, you know what? I can do it this way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, you know what? I'm going to stop the guy. Oh, that's actually going to be kind of ugly. <laughs> uh, let's try at least not to destroy any of the straw. I saw a mod where if you drop a header, it actually destroys the straw. I think the mod is called Beware of Straw. I was thinking, should I use it or not? But in the end, I was like, you know what? That's for a survival series or maybe pretty much realistic series. That can be good, but I tried it. It's not bad, but it kind of changes the flow of the way you play the game. And I'm not sure if I liked it or not. So I decided, you know what? Who mod, but I will pass. So now we do have a few straw lines across the field already and I'm definitely ready to move on to the next step. So what we're gonna do now is Achtung on the back of the harvester. We're gonna go to the end of this field. We're gonna turn around and then we're gonna go back to the farm, grab the next tractor and get the bell. The next machine, as you're seeing, is the Macy Ferguson. Um, Macy Ferguson is a brand that, to be honest, I haven't used as much. But I can tell you that just for the sake of different maps, different equipment, I kind of like it. And here you can see we have one. Uh, it's not low loader. Stan, you don't know what equipment you're having. Let's check the store real quickly. This is a loading wagon. Yes, a loading wagon with a manure spreader, the pottinger, baler, cocoon mowers, and a small little windrower. Oh, that's awesome. Now, let me just hook all the cables up. I'm not gonna hook up the PTO just now. Man, Uncle Rudolph really does have some cool stuff. Too bad that he's not around to show us. I, I do not know where he is. I really do not know. Oh, the Pottinger, huh? I really am not that familiar with uh, these two brands. Maybe Macy Ferguson, Pottinger, McCormick is another brand that I definitely need to experiment on. For sure, for sure. I'm very interested if we can use this part 
of the map as well. I know that Uncle Orof said that we own this right side of the farm as well, but the silo that you saw, it's over there, it's not working. I think that he used the pumping engines to pump the grain for the new silo to save some cash. So I'm pretty sure that it's gonna be demolished very, very soon. I, he told me that maybe he wants to build something. I, I don't know. I, I have to meet him. I don't know where he is. Mm. Alrighty. Let's get to bailing, guys. First of all, do we need to unfold this? No, we just need to drop it. Oh, PTO. Stand, don't forget. S cables, PTO. No, we don't need to unfold it. Turn it on. And do we have any... No, we don't have any options for bales, though. Why is it? Turn on automatic drop? Sure. So this baler takes around... Let's see, it's gonna be, I think, four. Let's see, how much? It's gonna be for half of the straw bale. So 2.5k straw for half of the, the bales, so... 100% is gonna take around 5,000 liters of straw. Let's not hit the door, it's far. Oh, you can hear the bailer. Alright. So that's... A small little bailer that's in the wild. How cool is that? And on top of the screen i just saw the message let's turn off the beacons i saw the message that the class is gonna be full very very soon now guys uh, another question is how do you think this particular let's play series should turn around because the idea behind the let's play my idea is to be helpful to the time lapses so for example if i don't have time to record something with the time lapses i can do it in the let's play let's say if i need to clean the pens if i need to feed the animals um if you need to shovel snow or maybe move some wood during the winter oh no because this is with seasons i am playing with season folks um economy is on easy just for now because Probably you know that I've never actually looked too much serious towards the seasons. So I really want to start it slow just to learn. I tried the speeding up time of camera, of course, and I tried to definitely just to experiment off camera because I don't want you guys see me how stupid I can be sometimes. <laughs> so yeah, and the question is, do you like my idea? Do you think that the Let's Plays can be a helpful notch towards the time lapses? Or you want to be more separate, Let's, uh, for example, to have um, big tasks for the Let's Play videos as well as the time lapses? I'm very curious to see what you guys have to say. Moving wheat, moving wheat. Yes, I am moving with uh uh 46% full. Oh yeah. Good job, driver. Good job. Yeah, you can definitely see this. <laughs> this harvester has been used. Now look at this. It's just the paint is chipping away. It's just chipping away. 700 hours. I know that's not that much for... I don't know. I think this is around 30 or 34... Uh, 35 year old combine. So it, it... It was repainted not long ago. But uh, yeah. It has its fair use. Now this trailer has its fair use as well. I mean look at this. The Agrostar as well. I can see some rust from here. Probably I can't show you that much on camera. But um, I can see it. I can definitely say so 93% full let's be careful I don't want to spill anything let's get back the driver on his way oh yeah now let's get back to the farm let's unload 
wasn't there uh, i think there was no beacon right no we just have to use hazard lights and one thing i really want to share with you is i'm very very happy to play the game realistically to have the hazard lights on to have a little bit more difficult time for me uh one thing also who that's very very important the mega farm and mega challenge are definitely going to be back on the channel but i'm waiting for these brand new maps guys all right once we start to get some cool maps i'm definitely interested in resuming these type of videos because i mean they established the channel and you guys enjoy them quite a lot i don't want to take it from you the Deutz far has quite a nice engine with a lot of torque um i just pulled this weight across the small little hill so it's not a hill more of a little small uphill and it pulled it no problem now what's the weight 21.9 tons you can see it on the bottom right corner as well 21.9 tons huh. so almost 22 tons and the the doids pulls it i'm i'm impressed i'm impressed uh i i thought that uh, the engine is all old and it's not that good but uh no it proved me wrong it proved me wrong now, let's unload real quickly over here our first load of the series is in oh yeah oh yes people it's happening can i jump over here kind of spider-man cool but this is where we load the grain and this is where we unload it wow that's probably so much capacity and i'm still shocked how can uncle rudolph hide this because on the first two videos i didn't see this but guys that's gonna be it for today i want to thank you very much for stopping by definitely answer the questions i asked you because it's gonna help the channel a lot let me know what you think about this current video and the way i set it up because your feedback is important to me once again my name is stan thank you very much and i'll see you and i shall see you in the next one bye bye for now